Hi, in this video, I'm looking at using Simpson's rule to approximate this integral using six strips. So let's have a look at the graph of two to the x on x. This graph, if you have a quick sketch of it, in the negative x, it asymptotes onto the negative side, comes down here, and it also in the positive x direction, it comes from an asymptote near the y-axis comes down and then heads off that way. And we want to know what is the area underneath this curve between x equals 1, which is probably somewhere around about here, and x equals 3. So we want to know what this area here is. And we're going to do Simpson's rule to work this out. And we're going to use six strips. That means that this area is going to be broken up into six sections and of equal width. And use the area of each of those strips, add them up, and we get our answer. Now the rule for Simpson's method is that our integral between a and b of some function f of x with respect to x can be approximated using the width of each strip divided by 3 multiplied by the value of the function at our first x plus four lots of the value of the function at the first x plus the value of the function at the third x plus the value of the function at the fifth x and so on. So it's all the odd ones plus two lots of the value of the function at the second x plus the value of the function at the fourth x plus the value of the function at the fifth, uh, sixth x, and so on. So all the even points. And then lastly, our last value, and we're done. So we need to work out all of this for our integral up here and work it out. So our function f of x is 2 to the x on x. And we have x naught, which is our first x value, our lower bound, which is 1. And we have to go all the way up to our last strip. And we want six strips, so we're going to have x6. And that's going to go up to our upper bound, which is 3. And we need to work out all the ones in between. So we need x1, x2, x3 x4 and x5. So we need to work out all of these x's, but we need to know what the x values are. So I need to know w, the width of each of my strips. So w, the width, is if you average the interval b minus a and divide by how many strips you're doing, we'll get our width. So b in this case is 3, it's the end of our interval, and then we're going to minus of 1, and divide by how many strips we've got, which is 6. So our width, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 sixths, which means that our width is 1 third. So our x values are going to be 1 third apart, which means I start off with 1 here, and I add a third, and that gets us to 4 thirds. And then I'm going to add another third, and that gets us to five thirds. Add another third, which gets us to six thirds, or two. Add another third, and we get to seven thirds. Add another third, and we get to eight thirds. And finally, add another third, and we get to nine thirds, which is three. And now I need to work out the value of the function at each of these points. So let's have a look at f of our first x value, f of x naught, which means that we've got to work out what's f of 1. So we've got 2 to the 1 divided by x, which is 1. So I've got 2 divided by 1, so I've got 2. Then if I have a look at x1, which means I need f of 4 thirds, so I have 2 to the 4 thirds on 4 thirds. And if I work that out, that's 1.8899. f of x2, which means f of 5 thirds. So we have 2 to the 5 thirds on 
five thirds. And putting that into a calculator, we get 1.9049. X3, so f of x3 is f of 2, which is 2 squared on 2, which is 4 on 2, which is 2. f of x4, which means we have f of 7 thirds. So we have 2 to the power of 7 thirds on 7 thirds, which gives us 2.1599. f of x5 means we have f of 8 thirds, so we have 2 to the 8 thirds on 8 thirds, which gives us 2.3811. And lastly, we've got f of our final one, x6, which is going to be f of 3, which is 2 cubed on 3, which 2 cubed is 8, so we have 8 thirds. So now I've worked out the value of the function at each of these points, I can now go into my rule for Simpson's method. So we have the integral between 1 and 3 of 2 to the x on x dx can be approximated by our width divided by 3. Our width was 1 third, so we divide by 3 all multiplied by our first value, f of x0, f of x0 is 2, so we're going to have 2. And then we're going to have all of our odd values, so all the values of the function at the odd x's, and multiply by 4, so we're going to have 4 lots of f of x1, which is 1.8899, plus f of x3, which is 2, plus f of x5, which is 2.3811. And we would go on f of x7 if I had more than six steps, but I don't. And then we're going to add on two lots of all my even values. So all the values are the even x's. So x2 is 1.9049. x4 is 2.3811. 1599. And I'm not going to go up to f6 because I need the last one to be out here, f of xn, my last step, and that's f6. So lastly, we're going to add on f of x6, xn, which is 8 thirds. So we have to work out all of that, and if you do, you end up with that we have approximately 1 over 9 multiplied by 37.8801, if you put all of this into a calculator. And so that means that the integral from 1 to 3 of 2 to the x on x dx approximately equals 4.2089 using Simpson's method. And this would be a function where Simpson's method would be particularly useful because 2 to the x on x is a rather complex function to integrate, so approximating it is not a bad way to go. And we do that by following the rule where we do our first value plus 4 lots of all the odd values plus 2 lots of all the even values plus the last value, all multiplied by the width on 3. So we have to work out all those values put them together and we get our answer.